Hey friends, journal entry for today. I could share a lot of things, but I'm going to share um, what happened to uh, my husband and I today. Um, not going to go into the whole backdrop of my situation and my life, but if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll know. So we have one car and uh, on a very fixed budget right now. And our car has been making this terrible knocking noise that has been worsening. So we're like, we got to get this in the shop. Um, also squealing. Um, thought maybe it's belch, you know, when I turn the air on and stuff. So we get it to the shop where we normally, you know, get mechanic work done. And, um, you know, praying to the Lord, it's not going to be a big deal. We didn't have a lot of money budgeted for this. So, get a call, and uh, the guy tells me, he said, if I were you, I'd find another home for this car. And I said, what do you mean? He said, I mean, I'd trade it before you came. And he proceeded to tell me um, the problem with the car, um, that it was going to need, um, rather than fixing what was wrong, um, which would be about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. He would go ahead and just get another new engine because there was a, another problem, and that plus the air condition, the compressor was about to go out or something. I don't know a lot about cars, so. Um, but anyway, so I was not happy to hear that, you know. Um, so I asked him, you know. Bobby, what would you do if, if it were your car? And he said he'd try to get rid of it. Um, really. So anyway, because this is a used car anyway. So um, we just, you know, left it at, well, he said, you know, I've already got up on the lift. Do you want me to go ahead and change the oil and then drive it as long as you can and try to figure out what you're going to do? I said, yeah, let's just do that, you know, because I knew it needed the oil change. So, um, told my husband, we sat on the porch, I was telling him about it, and, um, he said, are you worried? And I said, well, honestly, I'm being tempted to worry. You know, that's not great news. And the Lord knows we only have one car, we're on a fixed income, and so, we just, you know, together just acknowledge the Lord in it. We, uh. Knew the Lord knows our situation. He knew this was coming, you know. Um, so we did that and asked the Lord to help us with the temptation we were feeling to worry about what are we going to do about a car, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, and then we ended the prayer. My husband went back in to, to work. Um. He tutors online, math and stuff. And so, I really didn't think anything else of it. I was reading about some things on my phone and messaging with a friend, this and that. And so, um, I'm going to say it might have been an hour or so later. We had left it with the uh, mechanic was going to call when the car was, when he got the oil changed and everything, I was going to get it. So, phone rang. It was him. Um, I figured, you know, it's done. And he said, well, Misty, I got some good news and some bad news. And I was like, okay. Um, and he proceeded to tell me that he really just didn't know how to say it. And he just said, he's like, you know, the bad news is there was only um, two quarts of oil in this car. And it holds four and a half quarts. So he said, we really got to stay on our toes about keeping the oil checked, you know, because see, my husband lost his vision about a year ago, and I don't, you know, I'm not good about car stuff, so he was talking to me about that, and then I was like, okay, and he was like, but, he said, I don't know, he's like, I, I just, I changed the oil and everything, and got to looking a little more, and he said, you know, I don't know if he goes, I don't know if it's hydraulics or he said all this stuff I don't understand. He said, but your 
car is running smooth as a kitten. I said, okay. I said, um, he said, I was just like, I don't really understand what you're saying. He was like, so you're good to go. Just keep a check on that oil. And I was like, I mean, my air condition. He's like, well, your air's good and cold. He said, um, when I got it down off the lift, it, it, it didn't make, I turn, you know, it didn't make that. It's a high pitched squealing noise. You might've heard it before. Whenever you turn your air or your heat on, it's terrible. Been going on a while. And he said, it's, it's just, it's quiet. It's running smooth as a kit. And he kept saying that. And you're good to go. And, uh, so basically it was left with, um, my brake pads and rotors and being rotated and stuff. And I said, well, we'll uh, have to work that into our budget and get it back over there. But either way, y'all, I don't know who I'm talking to. But they're, I'm sure people could say, I know I used to be one of those people. Well, you know, he didn't notice this, that, anything. But my husband and I know, that I don't know what the Lord did, but he did something. He fixed our car, you know. So, one minute, we're being told, you know, we need to trade this car. And the next minute, it's running smooth as a kitten. My dad took me to pick it up great so I just want to put that in my journal y'all if I was to um, you know I'm not writing my journal I, I'm recording it now I don't if I were to record and put down everything amazing things that the Lord has done to care for me my family Things he's done in other people's lives I've seen. I, I mean, it did a whole lot of videos to watch. But, it's just, you know, really the biggest thing to us. Because we've been walking with the Lord and he teaches you, you know, about, he proves himself faithful. And, mm, the biggest thing was we needed help with the temptation to worry. We didn't want to worry. It's the opposite of faith. It's doubting. And we had asked something of the Lord. We asked Him to um, either provide the means to get another car, which we wouldn't have known where that would come from, or just something. And once we asked Him that, we had to trust that He was going to do it. And leave it at that. I mean, that's faith. Faith pleases the Lord. And you know, I can't even take credit for my faith. Because it's the Lord who has bestowed a measure of faith to me. It's a gift. Everything. So say I have no, I have no room or no reason to boast. It's all from Him. Everything. So, um, I just wanted to share that. He's just so good, y'all. He's so good. And I hope that encourages somebody or um, something like that. I just thank you, Lord. You're so good. So I hope y'all have a good day. I'll see you soon.